This is an ingestible electronic sensor, and that is Keegan Hughes ingesting it. It's an experimental pill that detects gases like hydrogen in the gut. The inventors say this information will help doctors monitor people's digestive health and diagnose gastrointestinal disorders. But first, the researchers have to prove their sensor is safe for humans, like Keegan. It, it's strange to think that there's a machine in me, um, but it went down really easily. Another bit of good news for Keegan and others who tested the pill, the gas sensors worked, according to results published earlier this year by scientists at multiple institutions in Australia. Leading the team was Karosh Kalantar Zadeh of the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology. He recalls the exact conversation that sparked the idea for the tiny gas sensors. Uh, about seven and a half years ago, a gastroenterologist came to my office. He came to me and said, can you make the accuracy and selectivity of breath tests better? Gastroenterologists use breath tests to detect hydrogen and diagnose disorders such as lactose intolerance and more painful conditions like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO. To diagnose SIBO, for example, patients would first ingest something like glucose. Patients with SIBO exhale more hydrogen than patients without it, and here's why. People with SIBO have extra bacteria in their small intestine, where it's not supposed to be. As those bacteria metabolize sugar, they produce more hydrogen. More bacteria means more hydrogen. But Calendar Zadeh told the doctor he can't improve breath tests because the tests are fundamentally flawed. With a breath test, the doctors can't see inside you to know that hydrogen is coming from your small intestine or elsewhere. They have to estimate their location based on how long it takes you to digest something. But some people digest faster than others, which can muddy a diagnosis. So breath tests have their limitations, but... We can have another choice, is to measure all these gases where they're produced. Kalantar Zadeh and his team engineered a swallowable device that detects hydrogen in the gut. It has a polyethylene shell with a small gas permeable opening. When gases reach the sensing circuit, the electronics send a signal from inside the body to a smartphone app outside of the body. The pill not only senses hydrogen, it also senses oxygen, which lets researchers pinpoint where the pill is in the body. That's because each section of the digestive system has its own distinct amount of oxygen. The person can collect the pill once it exits the body, and don't worry, these pills were single news. To hear calendars a day tell it, a gas sensing pill could be a powerful diagnostic tool. But do doctors agree? We went over to George Washington University to ask gastroenterologist Marie Borum what she thought of this new technology. I think that using this technique has a potential place in our diagnostic armamentarian because it's, it's looking at conditions that those other capsules aren't. Those other capsules she's talking about are pill cams, many swallowable cameras that bring new meaning to selfies. And those have been around for almost 20 years. When we first started using it, we were very concerned that it wouldn't be acceptable. We were very concerned that patients would look at these pills, because they're not always tiny, and we would look at them and say, I just can't swallow it. But it turns out that patients have been very accepting. The main advantage of capsule endoscopies are that they provide a less invasive alternative to a colonoscopy, that fun procedure involving a more than meter long fiber optic probe inserted you know where. So maybe it's not that surprising that people were willing to give a pill a shot. Although pill sensors like the one Kalantar Zadeh's team are making are actually more invasive than alternatives like the breath tests, remember the goal is different. The sensor pill is designed to produce a better, more reliable picture of what is going on in the gut. For example, in the gas sensing pills pilot study, the researchers found that a subject's gas profile correlated to the microbes present in that person's feces. By amassing a library of gas profiles and microbial data, Calendar Zadeh says researchers can use the pills as a new tool to monitor health and the human microbiome. And soon, doctors may have even more ingestible electronics in their arsenal. Researchers are working on devices powered by stomach acid, and they're tacking sensors onto medicines so doctors can see if you've taken your drugs on schedule. In fact, FDA approved the first drug with a tracking sensor on it in November. The move brought up a lot of questions about patient privacy. We talked to researchers who wondered about the ethics surrounding the data smart pills of the future would generate. For example, what if insurance companies could use the information to determine how much a patient should pay? Or what if they saw that a person didn't take their pills as prescribed and withheld coverage? For now, Calendar Zadeh is focusing on sensing gut chemistry and making his pills available in the clinic. 
We actually ran into him at the ACS National Meeting in New Orleans in March. And lucky for us, he always keeps an ingestible sensor with him. In New Orleans, we talked about how he and his team are gearing up for a phase two trial of their ingestible sensor. They plan to enroll about 300 people, and he says getting volunteers is no problem. Since the paper came out, he's gotten 10 to 20 emails a day from prospective patients. What drew people to it? Problem. They have gut disorders. They have been suffering for years and years, and they're desperate. So even if they, they see an article and they want to see whether they can be of the first group that can uh, uh, participate in the trial, just to find some solutions for the problems. If you want to read more about ingestible sensors, be sure to check out Prachi Patel's feature for Chemical and Engineering News and ACS Central Science. Let us know what questions you have about ingestible electronics of the future. And I'll leave you by answering the question that's probably on everyone's mind. Uh, are you going to eat that? <laughs>